Hello everybody and welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael and today we're looking at Norwell's Rio Bravo Western Park created by Norwell. And as you can see, it's obviously in the desert biome and it's at 99% on the PS5 and there are some really really cool kind of ideas in this park. And it's pretty pretty spread out as we're kind of getting an overview look. You know, uses a lot of the map. And I will say this is probably my least favorite biome because I feel like it's very, you know, if you're going to create a park in this biome, it basically has to be everything western. And it's very, very spread out here. So I'm really excited to start kind of taking a look at this. I believe there are two coasters, maybe three. So that's maybe part of how it's so spread out is just... Um, not quite as many rides, but if we go here to the entrance, and I want to say before we get started, because as of filming this, we are at 904 subscribers, so I usually film a few weeks out from when um, Jasmine and I are releasing videos, and we want to thank you guys so much for helping us get to this point, and for just the constant continued support, and let's hope for a pretty quick climb to 1,000. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much, but right away... You know, definitely using the Western pieces. Oh, don't go. What? Oh, and I do want to thank the creator of this park because I did reach out when I saw this on the workshop. And they are a subscriber of the channel, so I appreciate the support. And it's, you know, it's really cool when, you know, as a creator reached out to somebody. And they're like, hey, I follow your channel. So that's a pretty cool thing. And part of me is like... Man, I wanted another sub. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding though. But seriously, though, it's it's really cool to just um, you know, have people say, "Hey, I follow the channel. I really appreciate." You know, and I know Maddie and Tommy and everybody else who who does this feels the same way. But right away, you know, love the little kind of Western style, and I do like the fact that all the paths are, you know, just the fitting in with the train. It really kind of fits the area. I love this building. Gosh, that coloring is really good with this. Looks great. The only thing I would say about this is, ooh, wild toppings, pepperoni, four cheese. Those aren't really wild toppings. Um, that planet coaster sign doesn't really fit to me because everything else here is super Western, and then that's like very, hey, a lot of lights and so forth. Um, so that's the River Rapids. We'll get to that probably. Um, we'll come back to that. Uh-oh, Moonshine. Selling moonshine at a theme park. What could go wrong? Oh, it says this is closed. Canyon smoke. Let's uh, let's turn this on, shall we? That's that's my fault for not. Okay, well I guess I just opened it. But wait, how does it say? That's so weird. People were on the ride. Okay, but yeah. So we get to the mine train. So right away we're getting to a coaster. And, you know, love the, I do like the queue, um, you know, kind of, you know, it's hard when doing Western theme, I feel like, to kind of get everything to fit, but there's not a ton of fencing, um, you know, there's a little bit of scenery and theming and so forth, and I'm going to try to figure out what is going on with these, these trains here, and we will, while we're doing this, we are going to look at the stats real quick, and then we'll take a ride on the coaster. So as you can see, the G-forces, um, G-forces is not bad, biggest drop 50 feet. So let's go ahead and take a ride on the coaster.
All right. So I think that was a really, really cool coaster. Um, I think, first of all, there's I got some pauses, Ben. I got some, um, some things that I want to kind of mention with it. The first thing is I think the layout is, is very unique and it's really cool. Like all the times that you kind of go in and out of the tunnels here, like that's really cool. Yeah, and then it's super smooth, so really good job with the smoothing and everything. My two suggestions is one, I would run two cars instead of three. Because sometimes trains are being stuck on the lift hill. Now maybe if everybody's, you know, if there's enough people queuing and getting on the ride, that's not an issue. Um, but if you have a, if you have a lot of people, as you can see right now, like there's like no wait. So in a real theme park, if this was a true theme park that wasn't Disney having to mine train, this thing would run maybe even one train. Like see how long that train's waiting there just for people to get on. Um, so I would just run two trains at this point um, because you know in real life, like the more trains you run, the more wear and tear on the track, the more wear and tear on each train, the more you got to replace wheels, whatever, all the different little things that kind of come with, you know, running a theme park. And so if it's not going to be busy, they're not going to run more trains than, than they would need. Um, also, I would, I would put the lift hill like two meters per hour, I think is what it is, compared to six, because it just booked it up those lift hills. And that's not really how you'd see it in real life. Um, but yeah, overall, like really enjoyed it, really liked it. Now, if, you look, if we look back over here, I wonder why he chose the Armada instead of the River Rapids. Um, because usually River Rapids is kind of the thought or go-to. But I really kind of like the idea that you used here. And it's just like a nice little peaceful, looks like a little peaceful ride around the park. But you used a lot of the kind of dead grass, which makes sense because we're in a western park. And, you know, there are good views and stuff throughout. So, like, if we look down at guest view, it's not like you see... A lot of coasters or anything like that in the background it's more about the just you know just the visuals of line of sight being blocked or just seeing a lot of trees so it looks really cool go be like these little tents left right left right left right let's go right you know I do think some areas could do with some fencing like, you might want to fence, like, this area off because you don't want a guest, even though guests aren't going to do this. In theory, you know, I think everybody to some extent wants to do realism and different stuff. And you don't want to have an area where your guests could get near a ride. Gosh, there's so many different paths to go on. I'm just like, let's see. Well, that goes over there, too. But I do like how we have this little, little western town while you wait okay so there are a few of these like the cosmic cow building and we'll say i do think there are a couple things off the workshop here and there um so i would like to know is there from the creator um is there anything that in particular that you got off the workshop and there's no, nothing wrong with using workshop items like as long as you integrate them in the park well and it was nice when you credit the people who made them um that's giving me some ideas because I'm creating a western area on my theme park at some point. So I need to learn how to do that. So we got the Northern Station State Line. Okay, so we got a train that goes around the park. Let's see this way. Okay, that just goes to a staff room. And so for me, like when I see people doing stuff like this, like I love seeing the realism with using the um, air conditioning units, but I feel like you got to then run the cables to something. So like it's got to be attached to something for it to make sense, um, to make sense of using it. Yeah, so we got the little train station here. Oh, I love the little steps there. Cool touch. Nice building pieces, nice colors. Pip shot, drink for life. Yeah, these buildings are just really well done. Okay, so we actually we're actually at a dead end. Wait, what is this? We got the uh, we got a shooting ride. I've never done one of these. Um, let's see. Start shooting ride. Oh gosh. All right.
I'm not supposed to. Oh. I'm so bad at this. So bad at moving this controller. <laughs> like I said, I've never done one of these before. Okay, I'm trying to shoot in the middle. There we go, yeah. But, which makes sense, Michael, because you're trying to get a bullseye. I don't know what's considered a good score. Like I said, I've never done this before. This is cool to actually see one of these, though, in the game. So I feel like I don't see too many of these that are made. Combo broken. Ah, oh, okay. There we go. I wonder what happened if I got that one. All right. Oh my gosh, I did bad. Okay. <laughs> that was... Ooh. All right, so feel free to make fun of me on that one because, I, like I said, never done one of those before, but that is cool. Um, I think that was... Yeah, I wonder if you did that or whatever, but either way, it looks really cool. That was fun. Uh, might have to come back and give that another try. So now as we continue on... Like, it is crazy how spaced out this, this park is. And I love this little covering right here for the carousel. Looks great. Oh, this is cool. We got a little chapel. And we got a different building piece. We got the rough brick. And a little bit of the... Is that adobe or stucco on top? Oh, that's part of the... <laughs> that's part of the ride. <coughs> I like how you can see a little train track there. Yeah, so we just got some saloon. I think that was, yeah, that comes from this building over here. Okay. We got the sundial. There's some nice sight lines here. You know, and as I said before, it's not of coasters. And this is really rare for me to look at a park that's got, like, very minimal coasters in it. Ooh, that's cool. Man, that's way up there on that hill. Oh, my gosh. It's a cool building, J.P. Morgan. <laughs> when, I wonder when J.P. Morgan was started. Um, Cantina. Let's see. What's this way? This might take us to this really cool Raptor Rising. Let's see. And I like how you've um, built some stuff into some of these tents. So try to incorporate that into the park. So we got the Gears of Fear. I mean, you know we got to go up here to the Rising Raptor. And, I mean, look at this custom-supported walkway. Or walkways. Oh, that's cool. This is where the train goes. Okay. Building a little... Building a little building. Gosh, this is... That's a pretty intense... <laughs> um... Pretty intense walkway there. So, here we go. I think we're going to have to take a ride on this. Since we don't have too many coasters in the park. You know, there's not a ton to look at in terms of rides. So, let's see. I don't know what view to do on this. I guess we'll do sit in the seat view of the guest while we wait for everybody else to join. So while we're waiting, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And as of right now, I think this is being released on a Thursday. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful Thursday. Oh gosh. I don't think I've ever done a POV on this thing to kind of see what this ride does.
And he is looking like he's having some fun. The only one on the ride. This is definitely a very interesting and unique park for sure. And on my day of filming this, it is actually the day of the Super Bowl. So did anybody watch the Super Bowl for my fellow Americans out there? And if so, did the team you were cheering for win? I didn't really care who won. I just wanted to go for the Bengals. Um, I mean, I feel like it's tough to go against Joe Burrow. Because he always seems to do well in big game situations. But they definitely got lucky with that touchdown call because what's his name? Uh, T. Higgins definitely... Should have been called for an offensive pass interference there. Um, but that was really cool. You know, like I said, it's pretty cool how long you kind of stay up here on this ride as well. Um, and then the custom fencing and stuff. So this is a very different style of, of park than most of the parks that Jasmine or I spotlight or that I invite other people to spotlight on the channel with me. And I'm glad I'm taking a look at this just because it's good to look at all sorts of, all sorts of parks. And so there was the rising raptor exit. But, like, dude, your cues are just super long. And that just kills the counter. So if you're wondering, like, how to get more space, if you wanted to build more stuff eventually, just shorten the cues would be my, my suggestion. So we got the Connie Express. And over here, Looney Balloons. Let's see. Okay, so this is where we took a ride. J.P. Morgan at the bank. Surgeon. We got the surgeon, but then it's a toilet. Let's see. Oh, so that's the, that's the train. Train station. So if we walk across, Chief Beef. Yes, yeah, so we go this way, and yeah. So this is the Copperhead Strike Coaster um, from the game, and well, we will take a ride on that. But I mean, I'm not gonna really say anything about it because I believe it's the exact coaster from the game. I could be wrong about that, but I, that's what I believe. And this is a cool building. This is probably my favorite building in the park. Like, that is awesome. Looks really cool. Especially this area here. Um, well done. And then I love the kind of custom fencing here. And we got a playground. And as I said before, you know, I'd love to know what you kind of got off the workshop here in this park. And I know those pieces. I think those are in-game pieces. But yeah, so I mean, we've... Like I said, um, we're going to take a ride on this coaster real quick. And then we'll finish up the tour. So that was the Copperhead Strike Coaster. And I believe the last thing we have to look at is over here. So we got a shooting gallery. Nice. And then, you know, another flat ride. And then we got like another little kind of western town here. 
And yeah, so Desper Desperado Salon. We got a hotel. So this is the city of Blackwater. Yeah, once again, cool little city. Um, kind of making you feel like it's a western town. So we got the we got a Tommy CM's favorite, the Whirly Rig, uh, somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Um, and so as we kind of take um, look, get an overview of the park, and let me change it to nighttime. Yeah. So um, you know, there are definitely a lot of blueprints or in-game stuff kind of used in this, but then there's also a lot of custom buildings and so forth. And it's a very, very spread out park. I think there are a lot of cool sight lines. I think the concept and idea here with this is pretty cool. Um, one thing I would like to see in another park that you make is just a little bit more stuff custom. Um, and, you know, maybe making the park more compact um, would be my guess. But I do think it fits for this style of park just because it's... You know, it's a western park, and it's supposed to kind of feel, like, my guess is it's supposed to almost feel like like it's not that heavily populated, so kind of like western towns back in the day. And there is one thing I forgot to look at here, and it's the collider. Um, and so this is like the a mining shaft, essentially, or a big mine. And so this is the queue to go there. The only thing I'd say is this queue is massive, once again. <laughs> um like really cool detail in here. You got the little mining car here with the the animatronics. So I think there's some really cool stuff here. And then you come out here and we've got the collider, um, which I believe that that kind of skin and everything around it was created by Iron Maddie, I believe, if I remember in that correctly. Maddie, if you're watching this, let me know. Um, but yeah, I mean that looks really cool, kind of just dug out in the in the middle of those rocks there. <laughs> so unique. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And remember, if you want a park looked at, please let me know. It's usually like three weeks before I'm able to, because I'm, I try to always plan ahead. Uh, maybe that's just the teacher, the teacher in me kind of wanting to always be ahead of schedule. Um, but yeah, so if you want a park looked at, let me know. Or you know of a park on the workshop that's great, let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support. And have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.